so guts and black powder developers added a new weapon. I will be talking about its benefits and drawbacks, and how this differs from the axe. You can get the pickaxe by buying it in the shop. And now go to the sapper section. As you can see when you press on the pickaxe, all the stats are already given on the side. Now, let me break it down for you. The first part gives a brief description of the pickaxe's capabilities. The second part gives you the stats of the pickaxe, and in my opinion, it is one of the strongest melee weapons. The last bit gives you the pros and cons of using this weapon, and to me it is good if you're willing to target sapper zombies, and help kill zombies once they get increased health later on as waves progress. Now let's see what the shopkeeper has to say about the weapon. And I thought I would bring on some support. It's all you. This is just a normal pickaxe. I found it in the hands of an armored soldier. I believe it was one of those French engineers that I've heard of. I have no use for it though. Please, take it. Now let's check it out how it compares to the axe. The developers have done a really great job at making this detailed and well shaped. The pickaxe only allows you to swing in the up direction and the left direction. Now let's try it out against a small horde. As we saw in the stats, the Big X has only one penetration. We can now see it how it can take on some zombies. As we just saw it can only kill a few at a time. This means it is not great against many zombies that are attacking at once. But due to its higher damage than the axe, I recommend targeting sapper zombies as you are able to take them out much quicker. Now, let's see the axe in action. This is where the axe is more beneficial to use rather than the pickaxe, as it can take out larger amounts of zombies per swing. Now, if you are asking me whether you should use it and buy it for 400 francs, then I would suggest getting it if you only wish to help your team by taking out the sapper zombies and making sure they do not damage any of your teammates. This would allow your team to advance forwards without taking too much time dealing with the sapper zombies where you can take it down with only very few swings. Please do subscribe if this helped you. Thanks very much.